Her career spans over three decades, and they continue to be one of the most influential groups in music. They are, of course, the Moody Blues. And with us this morning, it's a privilege and an honor to welcome Justin Hayward and John Lodge here. It's great to have you here. Thank you very much, Carlos. Now, that's, it, you, you talk about three decades. The music is still just as fresh as it ever was. Well, I mean, it's Moody Blues music, you know. It, uh, it always is us. Uh, it was us from the beginning. And, uh, you know, it is us today. Now, John, uh, when, when you started up at the very beginning, there was some, uh, a sense from the fans and the people who, who've been listening to you for many, many years that you wanted to have a sound that was distinctly uh, different from all the other bands that were out, out at the time. Oh, I thought you said John. No, Justin. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, th I think that, that was the idea, really, to, to, to have a, a style of music that suited us and our own personalities. And um, I think we, we, we realized that we had to have a, st a sound and a style that was identifiable, you know. So we had an instrument called the Mellotron, which gave us that kind of classical orchestral kind of sound, and the, along with the vocal harmonies and a, and a style of songwriting that I think... Um, you know, even the young people of today seem to be able to still identify with the music that we made when, when we were young, which is very nice. It's great. It's great classic music, but, you know, you're performing on the 25th at the Hollywood Bowl with the, uh, the, the Hollywood uh, Bowl uh, Orchestra. Yeah. Now, uh, I, there's the, uh, the information here. This, uh, this Saturday, May 25th at 8 o'clock, the Moody Blues and the Hollywood Symphony Orchestra. Now, I understand that you, you've never played with a symphony orchestra before, or you have, or, or you didn't do it on the albums, and I'm, with all the instrumentation everything goes on in your albums, that, that's hard to believe. Well, our first concert was uh, with the Colorado Symphony at Red Rocks about four years ago, and that was the very first time we'd ever been on stage with an orchestra. And uh, so what we're doing at the moment, we're touring around the world and performing with uh, every orchestra. We can sort of want to come and join us on stage and to become sort of the... Uh, biggest Moody Blues band ever for that night. And the interesting thing is that, um, you know, our conductor, Larry Baird, goes in on the afternoon, rehearses with the orchestra, and the first time we see actually see the orchestra is when we actually walk on stage for the concert. So it's a bit living on the edge, you know, but uh, it pumps the adrenaline. Now, uh, at Red Rocks, of course, you've got the, the Moody Blues uh, Time Traveler. This is the box set, which is great for any uh, Moody Blues fan, but uh, this is just one of the many albums that we have. I don't know if we can get a shot of it. Probably not, but we'll, we'll get a shot of it a little bit later on. This, uh, this box set just has a history and all kinds of uh, different uh, songs, but here there's all kinds of orchestrations and the kinds of things you're going to see uh, on the uh, 25th on um, this Saturday. Now, let's, what are we going to hear this morning? Uh, Tuesday afternoon. The Moody Blues. Two, three, four. <laughs> Just to kind of leave myself behind So gently swim to 